Dear Watch Sloan Grow members, thank you for tuning in and uh, thanks for your interest. This is a recording of a live Zoom call we had a couple of days ago at the weekend for anyone who missed it, giving you a tour around my exhibition which has just finished. I'd like to thank Pam for taking the time to put this audio recording together with um, the images of the work. And I'd like to start by reading out my artist statement which accompanied the show. I called it um, Coming Out. How many people have I looked at my whole life and never seen? In those intimate faces which I find so much pleasure in looking at, do I ever see the authentic, uncensored, unashamed person beneath the face, hidden in plain sight? How fully do I even see the person who looks back at me in the mirror? This entire show is a self-portrait. How I, how I have felt inside flowed into every artwork. I try to make it as honest an expression of my life experience as possible. It has been a vehicle for getting to know myself better, accepting precious moments experienced and lost, and exploring the sources of my self-worth on a mission to love myself more, slowly edging towards a state of clarity and genuine pride in who I really truly am. For some of us, coming out to ourselves and to the world around us is a slow, slow process. Maybe it can even take a lifetime. In my eyes, there is no such thing as normal or perfect, only uniqueness and imperfection. In life, there are times of joy and fulfilment and inevitably times of failure, self-doubt, humiliation and loss. All this makes us human. Revealing the vulnerable Rob is hard, but I have realised that for me, this is the only way to experience points of human connection that are moving and meaningful. My vulnerability is not to be confused with humility. Rather, it is a necessity. I must become brave enough to share just how weak I really am. Isn't this my best chance of being least alone? This body of work and these words have been self-serving and nourishing. If I connect with anyone else in the process, it has been all the more worth it. And I've got um, sort of a list of people I thanked at the end, including, of course, Pam, um, <laughs> who I described as the most generous and empowering teacher I have ever had. I'm sure many of you uh, can agree with that. Um, I, I love your artist statement, Rob, and, and thank you so much. I, I apologize that I'm a few minutes late, but um, I'm recording, okay? And uh, I want to thank everybody for being here, um, kind of impromptu, and I uh, really want to thank Rob for inviting us um, and allowing us to see uh, not only him live in this exhibition, but we get to see his work. And um, I did chat with Rob earlier, um, just so you know, like in Hamburg, it's what, 10? 10 o'clock at night? Yeah, okay, so as you guys can imagine, um, even if he doesn't tell you, um, he's exhausted. <laughs> Uh, I mentioned that already, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we hope he has a, a big glass of wine um, either during this or after. But in any case, we're going to kind of hold off on questions. We kind of discussed this. It doesn't mean you can't chat and go ahead and fill up the chat, you know, um, and then at the very end, maybe just a few questions. And what we hope to do is a post exhibition live Zoom Q&A um, where Rob can talk more about his experience and then others can talk about their experiences. How does that sound to you guys? Thumbs up? Thank okay, great. Okay. great. Then maybe um, next time have a more general conversation where other, you know, other people can share their experiences as well. Yes, very good. So Rob, take it away. Show us, um, tell us everything you'd like to tell us. We'll keep this to about a half an hour, everybody, so that he can get a good night's rest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Okay, well, I'll get started then. Um, yeah, I may need to warm up. And Pam, if you want to sort of ping pong back and forth with questions. and uh, Yes, um, and I'll let you know if your voice is not easy to hear, I'll let you know. Okay, perfect. So maybe... Um, I'm not going to head outside again because of the internet connection, but I have my name in big lettering on the, on the window. That's in itself a crazy thing, but um, it happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if I just spin around, I'll give, I'll give you a quick, sorry, Pam. Did you have to put the vinyl letters on yourself? I did, yeah. That was a nerve wracking moment as well. But, but <laughs> well, this whole week has been, um, it's been full of new, new experiences. Okay, great. Awesome. Crazy. Yeah. So the whole gallery, Every space is kind of two big rooms. So if I sort of spin around and give you a view of 
the whole, the first room. Can you see that okay? Yes. Lovely. A little bank, um, bench in the middle. So I'll take you over to uh, painting number one. I think this is one that I haven't posted in the group. Right. Can you see that okay? Yes, we can. Um, this one's called Family. It's on um, canvas, 100 by 120, oil and mixed media. And I did actually, thinking about it, post the, the play stage in the group. It was completely different. It was kind of like this up here over the whole, um, sorry, it's my uh, computer pingy, over the whole um, surface, quite busy. Hmm. Um, yeah, and I, as you can see, tried to gray it down quite a lot. I hope you can see the um, figures. It's sort of yeah. quite... Um, this one got, um, has got mixed reactions. Oh. I would say in the whole scale of things, it's been given relatively little attention, but who knows. <laughs> okay. And this, is, this next one is the biggest one in the whole, um, in the whole show. I don't recall. Did you have that in the Facebook group? Possibly, but um, I kind of did it in two stages. I, um, I half did it and then I left it for about a year and then I kind of finished it this month. Do you guys uh, remember the umbrella? I don't remember the umbrella, do you? you yeah, guys? no, the umbrella is like a new part. Okay, awesome. uh, But the title of it is um, The Sky Was Falling Down. So th this whole, this whole um, there's quite a lot of portraits coming up and that most of them are sort of trying to convey some, uh, in the titles, um, different emotions. But they're all kind of me, can in a way. Us, can you tell us the title of this one again? Yeah, it's called The Sky Was Falling Down. Okay. Yeah, please tell us the titles and the size um, and, and the medium like you're doing. And, and these close-ups are great too. Can you guys all see okay when he does that? Yeah, it's coming out really well, Rob. It's clear. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I made this um, face much more sort of rendered in a way. And it's got uh, oil pastels on it as well. And um, yeah, lots of a bit of scratching. I'm not sure if you can see that. Beautiful. Uh, but again, this one has got quite mixed reactions. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So if I spin you around this way now. Mm -hmm. um, this is also quite a new one. Also on canvas. I'm not sure what you guys see here. Like some people's... Um, sort of two, two men, two people kissing. Other people saw someone like kissing themselves in the mirror. Um, and I called this one Precious. Precious, okay. Precious. I'm going to try my best not to be too self-critical going around here, but this one is probably my least favorite in the whole show. Wow. Um, for the reason that I did it kind of in the last couple of weeks and it was too much under time pressure and I was trying to do something that wasn't really, I don't think, a sort of genuine, wasn't really coming from inside as much as the others possibly. And I think, the people, I think the people that have come to see the show set sense that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, well, uh, who knows? But. Yeah, I mean, personally, from what I can see, and I don't remember, I don't recall you having that in the group and uh, no. others, can certainly comment in the chat, but um, uh, it feels very, I mean, like Picasso asked to me, I, I like your simplification of form and um, I love how you've played your grays off of the color. So I love how you've done the hands. Uh, those are really difficult to do and they're very well, stylish. What I quite like about that, that I've, um, I mean, they're not very realistic hands, but I quite like the fact that um, I've kept them imperfect. That's kind of an achievement for me, <laughs> so yeah. not to try to do that. Um, so this is, this is the uh, picture that I had on the invitation, so kind of the main picture. Um, okay, tell us, tell us if that one sold. Yeah, it was actually the first one to sell. Really? Oh. Big one, so. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. And, you know, just, just be, you know, I, I if you're like most artists, you hate it when people say, oh, have you sold any paintings yet? But in mm. this case, do you mind if I ask you, Rob, how many paintings you've sold? Um, I, have actually, I have actually sold almost all of them. Oh. Amazingly, amazingly. Yay. Uh, 
Well, yeah, we, I, have, I haven't quite um, taken that in yet, but. Right, well, we just wanna congratulate you and uh, everybody in this group, when you guys have a show, um, hopefully you'll let us in, and we will applaud you. This is yeah, such a great. big deal, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, I, um, a lot of people like, this is kind of the favorite one, I think. Uh, maybe maybe because it was on the invitation and people already knew it beforehand. I don't know, but um, it's really something. Yeah. Um, I did it in lockdown, so you know it was quite a miserable time back in the sort of March April, and it's kind of about um, to a certain extent you can you're sort of responsible for your own making your day kind of happy or you know I, I called it dreaming with amaryllis. Um. This is pitch of um, an amaryllis on this side. So is your is your amaryllis kind of your your sign of hope there um, amidst the lockdown? Basically, yeah, and it's like sort of open window looking out to sea. It's kind of like a dreamscape. That's beautiful. Um, and I remember in the group having the conversation about um, um, where art goes into illustration and maybe a bit cartoony and whether cartoons are art as well and all that kind of thing. I remember doing it, spending a lot of time thinking about this last eye, um, which is kind of the striking thing about the, um, about the face. Mm, I'm, I mean, that's how it turned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lovely. Okay, and then the next one, this is kind of the colorful room. Um, I, I shared this one in the group, I think also with um, sort of the really early sketches I did as well. Yeah. Um, this is the view like looking out of my workroom onto my balcony, mm. to the church in the background. Um, hmm. Did you have like a, um, I mean, did you, did you photograph that view and then abstract it or were you doing this all just like looking at it and then painting? Well, I was kind of, from my room, I can kind of look out on there anyway, so I didn't really photograph it, but um, it's very abstracted, like where the pots are and this tree, I mean, it's all there, but it all looks actually, well, a lot duller for a start. <laughs> mm, um, and this one I called um, the, the beautiful spring came and nature resumed her loveliness. Mm. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, yeah, so that was uh, spring springing this year. Okay. okay, so, um, yeah, up there is our, li this our little um, COVID registration area. And this <laughs> is where I, had, um, this is where I had, like, the text and the price list and things. I'm not sure if you can see that. One thing, um, Rob, I forgot to mention this to you, and I hope you did it. Did you have, like, a guest list? <laughs> um, well, actually, I didn't, except for the fact that everybody who came had to write all their details down anyway for... <laughs> So I kind of have a secret guest list now. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. You have a COVID guest list. Okay. <laughs> that's a good job. And I mean, some good things come of it after all in that case. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so just to give you a bear, this is going through now to the next sort of space. Uh, this is a sort of side wall. Hope you can see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Decided to put these two together, although it's maybe kind of a strange choice. This hanging um, process, I totally underestimated. Maybe we can talk about that a bit more in the next call. <laughs> but, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, there really are a million possibilities. Right. But right. this is how it turned out. I so, like how two yeah. go, go ahead, Pam. I like how those two go together. I, I like the fact that they have similar palettes. They're both really like high contrast and, um, you know, like anything, when you hang two pieces together, it makes you wonder if there's a relationship between the two. So it's almost like no matter what two you put together, um, if, it's, if it's not just formally, the fact that they're high contrast and everything, it gives people this idea, well, why did this artist put these two together? Is there some connection between the dates and this figure? Mm -hmm. you know? So you yeah, kind of- Yeah, questions, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, neither of these I was going to hang up. Um, I was going to, I was thinking about keeping this um, wall blank, in fact. And then on the night before, uh, a good friend of mine, Toby, he came and he put these two together and he was like, no, you should need to put these. And actually, this wall has become one of the most talked about um, 
parts of the whole exhibition. So all, I think it's, you need to be careful of asking for too many people's opinions, but um, sometimes it's good to get the right people's. Interesting. Well, I hope you're kind of a fly in the wall walking past. Um, I don't know if you've experienced this, but there's nothing better than when people are looking at your work and you're talking to their friend about your work and you just happen to walk behind them and hear what they're saying. <laughs> because it's like totally, you know, you're getting the like it's total honesty, what they're saying, and you know, they may hate it, they may love it, but it's yeah. it's fun. Have is, did that happen to you? Yeah, yeah, there was um there's um, been no uh, moment so far where I've just been like, oh gosh, I wish I hadn't heard that. So that's good. Although there have been some critical words as well, but it's fine. I I've been brave. <laughs> One more um, question for you. Um, of, of everybody that you've seen come through your show, you're kind of halfway through. What percentage would you say are like complete strangers? You, you don't even know who they are versus people you know? Um, the honest answer to that is probably about... 85% people I know. Yeah, good, good. So, nice. yeah, it's been, I mean, it's quite, I mean, probably lots of people on this call will have much more experience of this than me, but um, yeah, it's strange when complete strangers come in and are interested and a couple of them even bought something. So it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a new experience for me. Um, I, th I, th I think of these two uh, both as kind of portraits as well, even though obviously one of them isn't strictly a portrait, but... Um, this one on the left is called um, Socially Awkward. And I, I'm quite pleased that I did put this in after what I quite like the fact that it's kind of unfinished and sketch-like. And this one is um, Seminal Years, I called it. Um, lots of people were asking me why. And um, I was 14 in 1995 and 24 10 years later. So that's kind of a significant period. Yes. I, I got a lot of help from PDPC doing this one. This is sort of... <laughs> uh, oh, I'm thrilled. That's how I, asso that's what I, I associate this with the group, but definitely. And then moving on to this wall, um, you guys definitely helped me with this one as well. I got lots of feedback in Watch, Learn, Grow. Fabulous. Yep. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Kind what of probably, in my eyes, maybe the most difficult sort of honest one um the title of that one rob it's called what must they think of me now mm. it's kind of about anxiety and uh you know wondering about so how people perceive you um and you know having so many worries and thoughts that your head kind of gets too big was bigger than it really should too much too much thinking overthinking did you um, have the chance to talk to many people about this painting? Um, yeah, um, yeah, I did quite a few times. Um, a man, a friend of mine just came in before, who's an actor, and he said that it reminded him of Hamlet, like on the stage, for example. Wow. wow. I guess everyone has a different interpretation, right? Yeah, yeah. And I definitely was not expecting anyone to buy this, because, I mean, I like the picture, I did it, and I wouldn't have hung it up if I didn't like it, but I don't think I could live with it sort of above my sofa. But, it, but someone actually did buy it, so. Is it, do, do, do you guys out there feel like it, it's a little dark? <laughs> but. I mean, to be honest, because it really is, I mean. Um, but I, I suppose the woman that bought it is actually a painter as well, and I, I know her, and I guess some people can, uh, live with some things better than better than others I'm, i mean i don't think it's a kind of mainstream picture but. well i i think um um this is something i've repeated before but uh when people buy your art they're buying your sensitivity you know your ability to evoke emotion something very personal and raw because that's yeah. hard to do everybody in this group knows how hard it is to put like you know like you're wearing your emotions on your sleeve and i feel like this painting is doing that it's like this is who i am like it or leave it and the fact that it it sold and so many of your works have sold to me um that by the way everybody that is so unusual to have that many pieces sell <laughs> like a five-day show or this is a um this is not normal at all Okay, well. In case, in case you think this is normal, Rob, it's not. 
Most people, um, and, and again, I, I just feel like all of you in this group are after this uh, level of um, um, emotion and honesty, courage. Um, and these are the rewards. This is what people want, ultimately. They don't want perfection. They don't want a pretty painting. Well, some do, but you know, I don't think this group is too interested in creating pretty paintings. I do think that the majority of everybody in this group, you know, wants to be um, finding that that most original place um, inside themselves and be able to express it. And that's when I saw I saw most of Rob's I saw Rob's PowerPoint. We kind of discussed it before his show, and. Um, I just, uh, you know, I, the level that he's achieved here is something that we all strive to do. So, sorry. Well, that's very nice. I mean, there's obviously uh, other, other people as well, but I do really, um, I do really uh, owe this topic of vulnerability and being brave enough. I mean, this is such a central part of our group. And I think generally in life, I tend to be someone who's, trying to please everyone and trying to sort of put on a brave face or a happy face or, you know, in a way, sometimes I don't want to say acting, but, you know, trying to please people. So doing something like this, I mean, I think pe people who know me quite well definitely maybe saw a new side of me. Yeah. And good. I think people can sense this, this uh, people appreciate this kind of honesty. Yes. Because as I said in my sort of opening text, you know, some people might pretend they have like an amazing, perfect life, but nobody actually does. Everyone has the same kind of doubts and struggles. So, yeah, I, just, I thought, let's just go for it then. <laughs> it feels, it just feels so comforting. Like, you know, they say what misery loves company. <laughs> yeah. somehow, you know, like that, when you look at this painting, it's like, oh my God, that's how I feel. <laughs> well, that's a good reaction. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is um, again quite. Uh, can you see that okay? Yes. I'm not sure if I shared this. Um, it's quite an old painting, so I'm not sure if I shared it in the group. I think I, I did. Um, this one I called um, Avoid Toxic People, Be Your First Focus. Mm. But it's kind of relating back to what I just said. Um, yeah, try not to. Um, I mean, I don't want to be preaching here or be some sort of um, you know, preacher, but. For me, I've learned that that's a key to sort of being happy and just try to try to avoid people who are going to sort of suck you in or take too much and they give back and all this kind of thing. And this um, th this idea of first focus so kind of came from this uh, round element that came from around the eye and it's in um, oil and cold wax on board this time. Very nice. Um, and. Um, this is quite an old one. Um, this is, I think, the first picture I posted in um, PDPC when I sort of introduced myself. So it's from uh, two, two, 2018. Right. I didn't realize how big that was. It's quite big, yeah. I'm, I only have all the, um, all the measurements in centimeters, but um, seven, seven, it's big. It's big, yeah, on canvas. Beautiful. Interestingly, quite a lot of people like the uh, like this one. But the, for example, the lady who bought the um, this this one, mm -hmm. she she sort of felt like this was great and everything, but it lacked a kind of depth that that one does, a kind of psychological depth, which I kind of agree with as well. How many years in between those two? Um, yeah, a good two years. So that's not very long, though. Oh, true. And this on this wall, um, I'm pretty sure I posted this already too. Ooh, it's like a collage, so it's completely different. Can you see that okay? Yes. Um, and this one is called The First Day of a New Decade, because I did it on the 1st of January, or at least I started it on the 1st of January. Huh. Um, and it's kind of 12 pieces of paper glued together. It's quite sort of primitive and uh, rough around the edges, uh -huh. but it's kind of a portrait as well. It's like thinking about the year ahead or the decade ahead. Um, and, and it's ripped up uh, bits of collage papers sort of question marks or sort of handwritten letters that I had. And um, 
uh, as I recall, I'm not sure, but um, when we when we kind of discussed the work, was this one that you were not quite sure if you wanted to include because it was so different? This one, um, this one was hanging over my sofa until the day of the show. And then I woke up uh, the, on the day and I was so unhappy with what was uh, hanging here oh. that I did this crazy thing and uh, under real time pressure hung this up instead. So it was all a bit chaotic and last minute, mm -hmm. but I think I made the right decision actually. Yeah, it's the color and, and everything. Yeah, so, and, and thank goodness it's by itself so you can really just admire it. Yeah, this space is nice with this kind of middle wall. Yeah. Um, so we're going into the last last room now. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I th you know, I think um, yes. there's a table here, so I can just put it down for a second. Um, yeah, we discussed this also quite a lot in the group. So um, the title again is the title actually changed, and it's called Happy Yesterdays. Oh, I can't remember what it was called before, but. Huh. Um, yeah, I always just feel like that's a very, very strong painting. Um, I'll just give you a quick uh, close up. And then I'll. Can you see that okay? Yes. And then on this comic wall coming up, um, it's like a series of portraits that I did. Um, mm. Each one kind of trying to uh, convey a different emotion, I suppose. How about um, the title of that one is? This one's called Stop Yelling, I Can Hear You. Mm -hmm. I think this is maybe quite a difficult one. I mean, he looks a little bit, to me, alien-like almost. <laughs> I love how you've, um, the artistic uh, license with um, the features and, you know, when you decide to blow up something out of proportion, I mean, it's part of abstraction, but it's for a reason. You know, I think you're feeling something inside. Hopefully. And then the pink, oh, that's just like fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd be interesting to know what other people think about this. This is literally just cut out um, colored paper. So mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe a bit of a cheap, maybe I should paint it instead. But um, <laughs> this whole row, uh, I'm not convinced that they, uh, they work. They're, they're quite sort of, I'm not sure if they're completely cohesive yet as a kind of style, but I guess I was experimenting, so it's it's fine. This is then there's this one. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Uh, this one's called "Let the Haters Hate." Mm. Yeah. Um, so I like to me he's like probably the strongest sort of great, boldest character on this wall. Mm. The smallest one as well. And then this is the first one I did. It's quite big. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Is that pink? pastel yeah this this one i actually um, did on holiday and i did it on um because i couldn't find any paper on holiday but i wanted to do some art i bought um some envelopes and stuck them all together <laughs> and this is just like school crayons from you know from the supermarket so oh, it's back to it's back to basics fabulous yeah i love the creases <laughs> yeah i quite like that too um and again, I mean, there's even, I don't know if you can see this, but there's real imperfections um, where, where the sort of corner's been uh, folded down and things like that, but I decided to leave it. Yeah. That's quite liberating, actually, because I'm kind of tending towards being a perfectionist in, well, in life, I suppose. But so I quite, I quite like the fact that I've done that. Um, this one's called, It Wasn't Supposed to Turn Out This Way. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I quite like the way this one sort of cropped. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, what I love about this too, below the, on the left side, um, you know, the, the way that you, you've got a straight line um, beside the face, which you know is not, you know, there's something about that straight line. Um, it's, not, it's not the curve that's on the other side for his cheek. And all of a sudden you've got this really straight line. There's something really uncomfortable about that. To me, <laughs> interesting. interesting. It's yeah, almost this one. No, yeah, it's almost like put me in a box. You know, you're trying to fit this figure, this curvilinear figure, into this like geometric shape that it, 
it's contortion, it's contorting um, a figure into this like space it doesn't want to be in. Mm. Yeah, I like that idea. I think um, in my head, like moving forward, I think I'm going to try and do something along this direction with paint next as a kind of next move, maybe. Yeah. But this, this one um, is a little less abstract in my view. Yeah. Um, so they're all slightly different from one another. I'm not sure if they all work, but, or if they work as a group. But anyway, this is how it turned out. Um, this one's called, what if they ever found out, question mark. So mm -hmm. quite an open title. Yeah. Um, and this one I have to say is probably my least favorite because I, um, it feels to me a little bit too like too much like a caricature, but I, I well, I put it in anyway. Yeah. It's called uh, The Sense of an Ending. Huh. Well, somebody loved it. <laughs> yeah, somebody. This has actually got three dots on it because this uh, really lovely family bought it. They have three kids and each of the oh. kids wanted to put the dot on, so. Oh, that's so, so <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay, and the second to last one uh, picture is this one, which I did also quite recently. Yeah, I remember seeing that one. Yeah, it's like, it's sort of in the last couple of weeks. Oh, wow. And it, um, I did it with like blue ink with, um, you know, when you sort of drop it into um, your sort of wet paper. Sure. So, oh. And just with ink. I quite like the colors on this one. Yeah. The, Huh. Um, yeah, and the very last one um, is this one, which I'm pretty sure. Um, can you see that okay? Yes, yes. It's also pretty big. And um, it's got a kind of spotlight on the top, so maybe it looks on the screen a little bit white. It's not quite as white as... Um, and this is called What Cannot Be Seen. Um, now, was that your last piece there, Rob? Yes, it was, yeah. I want to just tell you that uh, the chat has lit up. Um, oh, okay, great. <laughs> it, like, it feels like New Year's Eve here because there are so many comments. <laughs> wow, I need to have a read through at the end. At the end. You will enjoy the chat transcript. Um, uh, just, I'll just run through here with a few here. Um, uh, Catherine Cookson says, what cannot be seen is amazing. Um, these are That's remarkable awesome. for this joy. Thank you for inviting us to Germany to see your gallery. Um, My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> I love Thank you for your interest for tuning in, my goodness. Yes, I love the three portraits and their expressive eyes from Vicky Kay. Okay. Um, Maureen says, really important work, I think, Rob. Was it hard to part with? That's a good question. Was it hard to part with these paintings? Yeah, a, a couple of people have asked me that today as well. Um, well, I haven't done it yet, so maybe it will happen, but uh, at the moment, no, not at all, actually, which I think is a very good sign. I, I don't, um, even though one of the paintings called, is called Precious, I don't feel precious about any of them, actually. You know, the good thing is that you came with 20 gigantic canvases and you only have to go home right at the moment with three. But yeah. if you go- I would think these, three, these three that don't get sold are gonna probably become my favorite pictures because it feels like they were meant to stay with me, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, um, we don't want to take any more of your time. I, I know everybody would love to like, you know, tell you congratulations, but I think we're going to save your energy for your next few days. <laughs> but I hope I speak on, on behalf of everybody. Thank you so much for letting us into your exhibition. My pleasure. Well, thank you to every, everyone on the call for your interest. And this is great for me to sort of be able to document it. So um, big thank you for me as well. Yes, and we're also very proud of you. Congratulations. Um, we can't wait to talk to you after this is over and to kind of open this up into a forum of uh, people talking about their experiences about the whole exhibition process. So thank you, Rob, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to the, to the time afterwards as well when everything calms down and I can just go back to being in our great group. And <laughs> yeah. I, I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, we kind of miss you, you know. What have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Sure, okay, welcome. thanks so much everyone for joining. Good night. Good Bye. night. Enjoy your Sunday. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.